in this video we are going to create the chat widget or rather the chat at widget which will help us um, add a new chat okay right now what we were doing is using tinker to add the chat uh, for any user so let's go ahead and first create our chat widget view file okay i will create that inside source components chats and let's call it the chat add widget okay i'll have script i'll have the template and i'll have the style and the style will be scss so it will be language equals scss okay one thing export default and this fine uh let the template have an id called chat add widget okay now this widget will be required inside our chat page so let's come back here uh, we are we will have to add that widget component sorry okay so import chat add widget and let's just duplicate this as well i will call this add chat okay um, let me open up the console okay fine this is okay what we need to do is you know have that uh, component render here but i'll add a few style classes as well because i know that the positioning of the add widget will have to be right at the bottom of the screen so remove this it will be inside a class called chat block and the second one will be add chat block and in that okay so let's go back to our browser yes we can see this so which means our component is rendering and now let's get back to this part okay so what do we what do we need inside our chat add widget we need to you know import the store okay so for that one thing is for sure i will need the map state okay i'll need to configure that so all right this is configured so the computed property will be available and inside data i know i require one variable which is message you know this is the chat message which um, we will be adding in the text field okay and after that we need only uh, a handful actually only one method which is you know the handling of form submit for the chat widget chat add widget as in handle add chat okay so that's okay let me add the condition as well so if this dot message not equals null i will execute the code I'll ensure that no one is able to enter a blank message okay and let's let's first create the form without the form it is difficult to visualize so we have v on submit uh, prevent handle chat this is done now what do we have we need only one input so
and our v model should be message okay so just to be sure that you know things are working let's okay, console so what is the problem sorry this dot message yeah okay so that's working now let's quickly uh, write the logic what is it going to be let's first do a you know handling the post data so let post data be an object okay in that receiver underscore id is going to be this chat store dot current chat user dot id okay if you remember we had to do that when a user is clicking on any of the user to select it right because we can always get the current user through laravel's auth but we don't know which user uh, you know i'm trying to send the chat message to so that's the reason we need that um, you know id okay and so after receiver id the only thing which we need is the chat the actual text which is going to be this dot message okay now this dot dollar store dot dispatch okay we are going to dispatch an event which uh, not actual event so basically the store event and so add new chat to conversation is the function which we will be writing will sending the post data and then in the response what we are going to do is this not message is again going to be null okay so after sending one message it you know it's going to be saved through this dispatch event and you know we are going to then empty out the message pretty simple stuff nothing uh, major now let's go to chat store okay inside chat store we know that we need to have this function okay commit and to maintain the convention i will again send post data and yeah so what are we going to do return view dot http post now we need a url right so let's quickly go to our config.js okay and let's call it save chat message url the url has to be let's see api.php okay, we haven't created it so what we are going to do is so this is inside auth api and everything right so yeah i think chat save okay uh, i'll stick to dash anyways this is not something which you are going to implement right now the server thing i will show you in the next video but i just wanted to sh make sure that we are using the correct path so this is chat save i'm going to copy this okay this is the new url and we will require this in our store so let's just add that and here so So we are going to do, you know, uh, we'll pass the URL, post data headers, and in the response, when we get the response, what we are going to do is basically response dot body data. Yeah. So we are going to commit to this mutation. Okay. And we have to write that. 
and we are passing the you know the returned chat object so this is going to be very simple state and chat okay i can keep that and state dot conversation dot push chat that's about it so we have the store uh, with the necessary changes okay um, we have added the new URL we have this mutation we have this action as well so yeah that's pretty much it let me see yeah everything is working there will be a few things which you will have to handle for example you know uh, if no user is selected it should ideally not be feasible which is something which we will do later but let's first handle the functionality so um, let us see form submit we are making a post request to this but obviously that nothing is going to happen because we haven't implemented the PHP part of it which we are going to do in the next video thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos